Hello, and welcome to Curiosity Killed the Puss, a facts channel covering the intriguing mysteries of the world, from politics and the future of electric vehicles to the fascinating enigmas of nature. Today, we're going to break down the inner workings of something that has transformed our lives, the combustion engine. Let's strip away the technical jargon and dive right into how these powerful machines turn fuel into the energy that drives us forward. Introduction to Combustion Engines What makes your car go vroom? It's the internal combustion engine, a marvel of engineering. This engine is the beating heart of cars, motorcycles, airplanes, and boats. Imagine it as a sophisticated energy converter. By burning fuel, it transforms chemical energy into mechanical energy, propelling us from point A to B. This invention revolutionized transportation, making our world smaller and our lives more connected. Fundamental Principles At its core, a combustion engine works on a simple yet powerful principle. Controlled explosions. Fuel mixes with air, ignites and creates an explosion. This explosion generates force which moves parts of the engine, turning chemical energy into mechanical energy. Think of it as a miniature series of fireworks happening in a confined space, pushing pistons and creating motion. This energy is harnessed to power everything from small scooters to massive aircraft. Components of a combustion engine Every combustion engine is a symphony of parts working in harmony cylinder. This is where the magic happens. It's a sealed chamber where the fuel-air mixture ignites. Piston, it moves up and down inside the cylinder, driven by the explosions. Crankshaft, converts the piston's linear motion into rotational motion. Valves, intake and exhaust, they control the flow of fuel-air mixture and exhaust gases. Spark plug, ignites the fuel-air mixture, causing the explosion that drives the piston down. Each component plays a crucial role. Without the cylinder, there's no chamber for the explosion. Without the piston, there's nothing to convert that explosion into motion. The crankshaft then takes this motion and turns it into the rotational energy needed to move a car's wheels. The four-stroke cycle. Let's break down the four-stroke cycle, the beating heart of most internal combustion engines. This cycle consists of four distinct phases. Intake stroke. The piston moves down, creating a vacuum that draws the fuel-air mixture into the cylinder. Compression stroke. The piston moves up, compressing the mixture tightly. Combustion, power, stroke. The spark plug ignites the compressed mixture, causing an explosion. This explosion pushes the piston down, generating power. Exhaust stroke. The piston moves up again, expelling the spent gases out of the cylinder. Imagine a concert where each instrument plays in perfect sync. The intake stroke pulls in the air and fuel, much like a conductor bringing in musicians. The compression stroke builds tension, like a symphony rising to a climax. The combustion stroke is the explosive crescendo, and the exhaust stroke is the smooth finish. Together, these strokes create a continuous, powerful motion that keeps your vehicle running. Types of internal combustion engines There are different types of combustion engines, each with its unique characteristics. Gasoline engines, spark ignition, these engines are common in cars and motorbikes. They mix fuel with air. Then a spark plug ignites the mixture. Gasoline engines, also known as petrol engines in the UK, are known for their quick throttle response compared to diesel-powered vehicles and smooth operation. Diesel engines, compression ignition, found in trucks, buses, and also cars, diesel engines operate differently. They compress air to a high temperature, then inject fuel, causing it to ignite. Diesel engines are rugged, durable, and offer exceptional fuel efficiency. Each type has its advantages. Gasoline engines are great for quick, responsive driving, while diesel engines are preferred for heavy-duty tasks due to their high torque and efficiency. Since they say there is no perfect love, you won't find your perfect type of car, but that doesn't mean you can't fall in love with it as well. So if you are passionate about driving and all you care about is pops and bangs, exhaust noises and fast throttle response, gasoline or petrol is your type of vehicle although it comes at a price. Since petrol prices are a bit higher and petrol engine cars tend to use more fuel when compared to diesel cars. But if you want durability, fuel efficiency and hate petrol stops, diesel is perhaps your type of vehicle even though it comes with a tractor sound and no pops and bangs either. Steam Combustion Engines Before gasoline and diesel engines took over, steam engines were the backbone of transportation and industry. Steam engines operate by boiling water to create steam, which then expands to move pistons or turbines. 
These engines powered the Industrial Revolution and were used in locomotives, ships, and early factories. A famous example is the Titanic, which was powered by steam engines. The recent news about the Titanic has brought renewed interest in these early marvels of engineering. Applications of Combustion Engines Combustion engines power a wide array of machines, making them essential in many sectors. Automobiles, cars, motorcycles, and trucks rely on combustion engines for mobility, providing the power needed for daily transportation. Industrial power. Used in machinery and generators, these engines drive construction equipment, agricultural machines, and manufacturing processes. Marine engines, power boats and ships, enabling efficient water transport for both small and large vessels. Aircraft, provide the thrust needed for flight, revolutionizing travel and logistics by connecting distant parts of the world. Their versatility and reliability make combustion engines indispensable in modern life. From daily commutes to global logistics, these engines are a cornerstone of our technological infrastructure. We journey through the intricate workings of the internal combustion engine, from the fundamental principles to the detailed components and the four-stroke cycle. We've explored the different types of engines and at various applications. This powerful invention has shaped our world, driving us forward in ways we often take for granted. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the heart of our machines, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to Curiosity Killed the Puss. Tap the bell icon so you never miss an update. Stay curious and we'll see you in the next video.